Hi guys, Paul Best here at Radio Shop Pickups in the UK and thanks for joining me for a new series of videos from us which will be called A Soldering Course for Guitarists and this will be lesson one. I'll talk a little bit about soldering, I'll go through the equipment that you're going to need and then we'll fire up the soldering iron at the end of the lesson and just get a feel for how the solder flows. And that'll set us up nicely then for lesson two where we're going to do some actual soldering. So yeah, soldering is quite daunting to a number of guitarists and I think the main thing that goes wrong really for a lot of people is they never quite do enough soldering to really get good at it. They do one or two little solder joints perhaps when they're doing a pickup upgrade, that sort of thing. And of course if you only do two, three, maybe even six solder joints, you're not getting enough practice in. So what I would say is if you really want to get good at soldering, and become confident enough to do these jobs regularly, you need to do a lot of soldering. So a good place to start would be upgrading your pickups and so on, but also doing something like a loaded pick guard or completely upgrading all the electronics in your guitar. It's a good place to cut your teeth and just do joint after joint where, where you get, will get better at soldering. So that'd be my advice is to, you know, get sink your teeth into something a little bit bigger perhaps than you've been doing so you can get really good at it. So what you're going to need is, oh, surprise, surprise, a soldering iron. Now we use these, these ones, these rather fetching yellow ones from Antex. Um, they, we're not sponsored by them. We don't have a deal with them. It's just what we've evolved towards using. There's lots of people making really good soldering irons. I wouldn't scrimp too much. This was around about £22, which I suppose is around about $30, maybe 25 euros. Um, and it's 25 watts. I would say anything between 25 and 30 watts is ample really for most guitar jobs. There's some specialist stuff that we might want to do a little bit later, but this will really get you started in a good place, okay? So if you have a little look at the tip of the solder iron, it's quite wide actually, um, which gives it a good sort of heat distribution. I would stay away from the type which are a very thin pencil end type. Uh, they're great for doing pedals later on if, if you really get into this. Uh, but for most guitar jobs, something with a tiny bit wider tip like that is perfect for getting started. Now you're gonna need a good stand, you know. Um, the last thing you want is, is your soldering iron not being stationary when it's not in use. So get yourself a good stand and most will come with a sponge, which you just get ever so slightly damp. If it doesn't come with it, then you can get a bit of sponge and cut it yourself into a shape that will fit nicely in the stand. Next thing you're gonna need is solder. Now I use solder from a company called Cynel, which is C-Y-N-E-L. It's made in Poland. It's 60-40 lead tin split. So it does contain lead. That's up to you whether you wanna be worried about that. Um, I would imagine if you're not doing a huge amount in it, perhaps you don't need to worry too much. But if if you don't aren't keen on that, then you can look for alternatives. But this is what I use and people have been using it for decades. It does a great job. 60-40 lead tin split. 0.7 millimeter diameter that's what i use day in day out and what i will say about buying solder is if you go on your sort of marketplaces online um beware of anything which isn't branded because it can be sort of fairly sort of shoddy and a little bit crumbly and it does, just doesn't flow right um so i would go through something that somebody's been happy enough to put their name on um, and that usually denotes that it'll be of a, a pretty good quality, but this is really good stuff, Sinel. Other things will be needed as we go through the course, but I really recommend these clippers from Pierre Gincomi in Italy. They get very close to where you're snipping and they're just very good quality. So those are really good and indispensable really for me as a pickup maker day in, day out. The course is obviously free. Um, some people do courses online and they have like Patreon or they ask for a donation. All I would ask for you to do is just when you get a chance, check out our pickups. These videos really, they're to help guitarists, but also they're to help to spread the word on our pickups. I'll put a little link up in the top left when you can have a little look when you get a chance. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, what I want you to do now is we're going to fire up the solder and I'm going to change the view so we can see what I'm doing. I've just got my sponge in front of me and it's nice and damp. And what I want you to do, just to finish off today's lesson, which is the first lesson really, and that is just to practice um, getting the feel for how the solder behaves. Um, to understand and get confident with solder, we, we can't really be scared of it in a way, um, because obviously it does flow and it can overflow. And if we get a feel for how we can control that, 
then I think we can actually, you know, learn to master it a little bit. So what we're going to do is just clean our tip in the sponge and then add some solder. Clean, add solder and keep going. And just experiment. Whilst you hold the soldering tip over the sponge, maybe put too much on, even to the point where it overflows and drips onto the sponge. This will give you just that little bit of a feel for how it behaves and you can build the confidence of sort of, I don't know, manipulating the solder if you like. Clean the sponge, clean the tip, and keep going, add some, clean it, and just see how it behaves and get the real feel for how the solder behaves on the end of your tip because once you've learned to control this you can then control putting it on other objects and that is lesson one really it was just to build that confidence with the solder um so i hope you found that useful we're going to go on to lesson two now which is tinning and that is very important we're going to tin and we're going to learn how to tin and then we're going to tin some items and then finally we're going to solder an item onto another item and do it confidently so i hope you've really enjoyed that here's a link to lesson two, and I'll see you there.